Hi guys, um, we're here today and we're going to be talking about three of our top species of tuna we sell. Number one is the bluefin tuna from the uh, south coast of the UK. Number two is the albacore tuna from Canada. And number three is the yellowfin tuna from the Indian Ocean. So tuna number one, bluefin tuna, the biggest of all the tunas, king of the ocean. One of the things that we often get asked is, why is bluefin tuna so expensive? In reality, a lot of that is a bit of hype. Uh, it gets a reputation for being a million dollar fish uh, because on the first bluefin tuna market in Japan of the season, uh, it's a bit of bragging rights for who will pay the most for the number one bluefin tuna to open up the season. As you can see, the actual colour of the bluefin tuna does change from where the fish is cut. This outer bit here is uh, lighter because it has a higher fat content and would be softer and creamier to eat than the, the redder, more fleshy muscle in the centre of the fish. Um, as you can see here, I cut across the grain on the tuna, which will lead to uh, the best texture when eating the fish. As you can see, the grain runs down here. How big do bluefin tuna get? Well, the world record, I believe, is somewhere around 650 kilograms. Now, that is a monster of a fish. They don't usually get that big, but we do frequently see bluefin tuna up to 250 kilograms. Now to try it. Mmm, lovely. So tuna number two, the albacore tuna, one of the smaller species of tuna, growing up to about 35 kilos on a, on a nice big size. Is albacore tuna always white? Well, as you can see here, this one's more sort of, has a pinkish hue to it, which you see on some of the younger fish. Albacore tuna tends to be known as a white fish because a lot of it ends up being canned and the albacore in the can are cooked, therefore they are white. How is albacore tuna commonly eaten? Well, number one's got to be in the tin. Uh, you get some really nice, high quality Spanish albacore tuna, white ventrescas, lovely stuff. The second, it's got to be in steaks, not lightly seared, uh, nice thick steaks from the loin of the tuna. And the third, and perhaps the most uh, on the rise in popularity right now is sushi and sashimi albacore tuna. Probably a lesser known tuna to be used for this, but definitely a really tasty one. And I'm looking forward to uh, giving it a try in a moment. So now to try the tuna. A softer texture than that of the bluefin and, and probably a bit milder, um, but a lovely flavour. And so, finally, uh, the third tuna today is the yellowfin tuna, and possibly the most popular tuna that we sell. You'll see that this yellowfin tuna saku block is perfectly rectangular. It's been cut with a machine in order to keep it frozen during preparation. It means that it can stay at minus 60, which is the best for retaining the colour, taste and texture of the tuna. Why is yellowfin sometimes referred to as ahi? Ahi, which itself means fire, was first coined for yellowfin by ancient Hawaiian fishermen who used hand lines and long line methods to catch the fish from canoes. So it's an old Hawaiian name for a great fish. Mm, fantastic. We hope you've enjoyed seeing a comparison between bluefin tuna, albacore tuna and yellowfin tuna.